Hey, what is going on, Guardians? Nem with Planet Destiny here. And it's Friday, which means that Xur is back in the world of Destiny, and this week he's located over on Io in the Giant Scar. Now let's go ahead and take a look what he has for us this week, shall we? Alright, starting off we have the Vigilance Wing, Orpheus Rigs for the Hunters, Hallowfire Heart for the Titans, and Verity's Brow for the Warlocks. Now the Vigilance Wing with its Harsh Truth Intrinsic Perk. This weapon fires a 5 round burst and when a nearby ally is killed, gain health regeneration and increased movement speed. And its last stand uh, trait, improve the weapon performance and greatly increases recovery when its wielder is the last living member of a fire team. So as you can tell, this is kind of like a trials based weapon. Unfortunately, trials is not a thing right now. However, the vigilance wing is still a solid contender in the pulse rifle uh, department in the crucible. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, mid to long range weapon. If you don't have it, go ahead and pick this bad boy up. For the Orpheus Rigs, with its Uncanny Arrows Intrinsic Perk, provides ability energy for each enemy tethered by Deadfall Anchors, and Mobius Quiver has more shots. As far as perks this week, we have Fusion Rifle Dexterity, Hand Cannon Dexterity, Outreach reduces melee cooldown when using your class ability, Scout Rifle Scavenger, and Special Ammo Finder. For the Hallowfire Heart for the Titans, we have its Sunfire Furnace Intrinsic Perk, improves the recharge rate of your solar abilities and greatly improves recharge rate while your super is charged. We have Unflinching Bow Aim, Unflinching Fusion Rifle Aim, Unflinching Kinetic, Scout Rifle Reserves, and Special Ammo Finder. And finally, the Verity's Brow for the Warlocks uh, with the fourth Magic Intrinsic Perk, Energy weapon kills boost grenade recharge rate for you and nearby allies. For perks, we have fusion rifle targeting, hand cannon targeting, hands on, sniper rifle reserves, and machine gun reserves. And uh, let's see what we get from the faded engram this week, shall we? If we get any uh, particular. No, because we got Warcliffe Coil. This just does not want to give me any exotic armor. And finally, we have the Five of Swords for the 100k scores for the Nightfalls. This will give you additional modifiers. And uh, that is going to be it for us this week, Guardians. Don't forget that this weekend is Triple Valor in uh, the Crucible and Iron Banner is up. So if you guys are still going after the Redrix's Broadsword, this weekend will be a good weekend to do so. But that's going to be it for us, Guardians. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.